So for all those future aspiring astronauts out there, particularly kids, and you know, I, I was a kid watching the Apollo landings uh, at the age of 12 and 13. I thought the whole thing was just magical. I thought this was the best thing ever. And it inspired me, you know, the first thing I did, I would go along to my careers uh, master at school and said, how do I do that? And he said, well, you probably ought to study math, physics, uh, chemistry, biology, stuff like that. And that's what got me going into science. So I found the whole astronaut business was a tremendous motivator to study the sciences, which I've never regretted because I turned out I love science as much as I love being an astronaut. But I want you know, young people to imagine that um, the, the whole business, not just astronauts, but everybody who's bound up in the space business, because it's not just the crews, it's the whole community of people who are trying to make these good things happen. Now, 20 years from now, somebody could be walking down a ladder and stepping onto Mars. Just think how incredible that would be. Just think what we could learn. You know, it's possible there was past life on Mars. I'm, I'm prepared to bet you anything you like, there's no life on Mars now. But it's possible two billion years ago when there was an ocean and an atmosphere and it was warm that there was some kind of life wriggling around there. And then the challenge would be, how do we find traces of that? And probably the only way we're going to do it is by sending people there using their eyes, you know, using their brains, and going around and looking in the right places for the right things. So the whole business of, you know, exploration of our universe, manned and unmanned, is thrilling. It's still, it's still exciting to me at my advanced age of 61. So for somebody who's 50 years younger, you know, who's 11 years old, I would say looking back, it turned out to be just as thrilling and as exciting as I thought it would be when I was a kid.